Good evening folks and uh, welcome. We're going to do the live uh, This is the second part of the Bosch amplifier This is part two obviously <coughs> Now what the problem was Right, the amplifier is now working. You pull this plug out for safety. The amp's now working, folks. I've got it working. And the problem was basically the resistors. Just about every bloody resistor. Every single one of them. I had to replace every single resistor because all the resistors were buggered. They were they were all way out of tolerance. I've got them all here. I'm going to just sweep everything off and a couple of them were even broke. A couple of them were even broke so we've replaced every single resistor in this. Um, I've not done the capacitors yet uh, but there we've got a couple here that are broke. They were they were discoloured. Not sure if that's part of that one. But yeah, there was a couple that were cracked and just fell to bits as they come out. There's another broken one there. There's another half. There's another. Yeah, they're, they're all they're all just jacked up. Really, they're all just knackered. Uh, all of them are just no good. So, there's another part of one. You know, they're just broken and ruined because the record player got damp. And it got into them resistors and ruined them. That's why there was no audio being produced. Or very little. But now there's bags of audio. I won't show you just yet, but I will show you soon. Well, oh, somebody threw eggs at King Charles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we're living in a crisis where we're all struggling. If somebody can afford to throw eggs at King Charles, then they're obviously getting too much benefits to buy food that they don't need. That's the way I look at that one, folks. Um... So these are our resistors here uh, that are actually that have come out of this <clears throat> and how many have we taken out? Uh, I'll show you the board in a minute. One, not all of them are here uh, because there's a couple that are not here that I've lost. But there's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's eleven of them, but there's a few more. And we want to replace. Just put this somewhere. Uh, we want to replace. Just get rid of these resistors off the bench. These duff resistors. And uh, they can go in the bin. I mean, I have seen people who take duff parts out 
and then they keep the little parts. Why? Chuck them. You know, people who take chips off boards and stuff, and then they, they keep the duff chip. Why? Put it in the bin as soon as you get it out. If you if you know it's definitely the fault. Put it in the bin as soon as it comes out. That way you don't get confused. Right. Right, well we've got this here, which is yellow, black, brown, yellow. And on the circuit diagram, it's actually telling us that it wants us to put 100k in this position. So, I don't know why. Well, why it wants us to put 100k. But uh, we'll put 100k in. Hey, up! Somebody's saying hello. I'll come to a chat in a minute. Because uh, what we need to do, we need. I mean, really, we need to sort this out because this is a bit of a mess. So we need to sort this out here. So let's see if we can deal with that. Otherwise, we'll put a new wire. Otherwise, we'll just run a new wire in. So let's see if we can deal with that. Resurrect that wire. This will be for the cartridge shunt uh, or the input. Because I don't, but the, what's weird about the whole thing, this is an SRP41. Now, the manual I've got for the SRP41, now that has to go back under there. The manual I've got, the one, the, the record player that's described in my manual, it shows the SRP41, but let's get a pair of small pliers. But what it doesn't, but what it actually shows the SRP41, but it doesn't show. There, the ones, the ones will do. But it doesn't show the correct amplifier. Because the amplifier in the manual has got an output transformer on it. This doesn't just use as a capacitor, as you can see. So it's a different amplifier. And even the transistors, apart from the output pair, are all different. So, it's not the right amplifier. So somebody somewhere, even when they were doing the manual, yeah, that's gone on. Either when they were doing the manual, or I don't know, I put the wrong amp in. So what I've done, I've gone. Off, I've had a look at the amplifier for the SRP fifty one. And the SRP fifty one amp is a closer match than what the amp is that I've got here. So basically, So 
So basically I've gone off that amplifier to sort this one out and it's now working, it's now producing audio <clears throat> I want to do it now because I don't want to do it too late because there's a young baby upstairs and I don't want to wake him up he won't be in bed yet so I won't have time to put the tone and stuff on hopefully Mind you, mind you won't really need a tone do, do, just do the wet finger buzz test that'll be good enough uh, just buzz the amplifier so what we'll do we'll come into there with that we're, we're putting 100k across it like it says in the amplifier manual in the manual for the other amplifier that's what we're doing uh, we'll see how it's out we'll see how it works with 100k if it needs anything more than that then we'll deal with it you know it's only a matter of it's only a matter of just soldering on the resistor not a great deal Right, so that's our volume control soldered back to back on. We are on the workshop speaker, on the workbench speaker. Um, we're not on the record player's original. <clears throat> now we'll just make sure that we're out of the way from anything we don't want to catch. Any speakers wires we don't want to short anything out so what we'll do now we'll plug this in i did have this working this afternoon i'm just looking for the damn plug that ain't it there it is looking for the plug is the volume turned down because we don't want the volume full it is now so what we'll do, we'll move our tester out of the way. There we are. That's working. That's starting to warm up. They're starting to warm up a bit quick. Whoops. Yeah. I will have to check the voltages. <coughs> I can smell something actually. nothing burning just something might be getting a bit warm the transistors are but that being said I will need to check the voltages and I need to have a look in the manual see what the voltages are see if it tells me so let's have a look shall we and see what our voltages are but meant to be So let's see what our voltage is meant, meant to be. Right. Just have a look at the manual. Uh, we want to see what they should be because then transistors shouldn't get hot as soon as it's turned on. So let's see what voltage is. We, I know we're going to get main rail voltage to one transistor. We're going to get 27 volts to one of them. Or thereabouts. 
Uh, but the other one should be ha. And I don't think it tells them, does it give us information? There's not a lot in here. Uh, dismantling, it probably doesn't give us it, there's nothing I can do about it. I have got another one of these amps which hasn't been messed with and I can measure the voltages on that. Oh, here we are. Uh, please, please correct the input-output phase relationship of the amplifier if such has a negative voltage applied to the amplifier is such that a negative... Uh, please read that again. Uh, Uh, fa fa uh, yeah, phase, correct input output phase relationship of the amplifier is such that a negative voltage applied to the amplifier input connection produces an outward movement of the speaker cone Output stages, replacement of the driver or output transistors may, may necessitate resetting RV4 and RV5. Set volume control to minimum and RV4 and RV5 to mid position. Measure HT at pin 12 on printed panel. Measure voltage at junction of R14 and R15. Exactly half HT voltage adjust. This should be exactly half HT voltage. Adjust RV4 if necessary. Disconnect collector of TR2. I think that is because it was somewhat printed over the top of it. From pin 11. On printed panel and insert AVOA or similar tester with positive to pin 11 and negative to TR2 TR4 collector 10 for 10 milliamps range adjust VR5 to get a reading of 6.5. 6.7 milliamp at 65 degrees and obviously reconnect transistor 4 to collect to pin 11 yeah right so that's what that's what they're asking us to do so let's let's find pin 11 shall we and I don't think it shows you pin eleven, so we need to look at the, the we need to look at the schematic. See if it shows us pin eleven. Um, see if it shows us. Let's just zoom out a bit because that's going to take forever. Right, right. Pin eleven is going into TR four. Yeah, so. Uh, pin 11 into TR4. So we know where pin 11 is. It goes into the collector of TR4. Uh, that's pin 11 there. So let's just have a look on the circuit, on the panel and see where TR4 actually is. See which one of them it is. TR4, it's the, I don't know which one it is, it's that one there. So, TR4, yeah, that's correct. Let's go back to here. So, we want to measure the voltage of junction at junction of 50, R15, R14 and R15, it should be exactly R voltage, right. 
So what we need to look at, see where our 15 is. Right, R14 and R15, I should know, I've been at it all bloody day. Right, R15. Right, the midpoint between them two is going to be RV, is going to be RV5. I would certainly say so, so let's have a look at the schematic. That's going to be the midpoint, I think. Uh, Right, RV14 and RV15. TR4 and TR5, they're the output pair. And it should be 13.75 on that. And we can measure that from capacitor 11. <laughs> So we can measure that from the junction of capacitor 11. Um, sorry, capacitor 13. Yeah, capa yeah. So we should have third. So it's pin 13. So pin 13. Yeah. And f that that's the. That's where the that's where it connects to the loudspeaker. So let's go back to the U lot. So it wants us. So what we'll do, we'll uh, go to camera four. So it wants us. So they want us to set RV let's get a twiddling stick <coughs> so they want us to set RV5 and RV4 to the centre that doesn't fit Not this one. So they want us to do that, so that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna set it how they want it set. So we'll move that to the center, and you can't get into these hardly. Turn the damn thing. Let's see where we're at with the voltages anyway. So let's have a look anyway, see where we're up to. So they want the volume down, which it is. And where's the meter? Where are you? There you are. Get, see if we can get you on the meter. So you can prop the meter up there. No, you can't see that. I suppose it's imperative that I see you see that there. So I suppose it's imperative that I see it, isn't it? It's imperative that I see the meter. And I want to put some up under here. So I want to keep this upright so I can do the measurements. So this is simple. Lift that cut, lift that up there, turn that on. Uh, shove that. Just shove that down a hole there. Oh for God's sake. Yes, Mildred.
I need him now, what's wrong with the other one? Right? So, if you any chance you can ring him and ask, just tell him, I'm not bothered about the fucking tenor for the ball, but this one I've got, he's fucking blown to fuck, it's no good. Right, we well, watch your language, I'm doing a live video. You need to wash right, your mouth right. out of the bar of so carbolic. Right. Well, you better you better tell you better send me a message. I'll never remember that. Right. Well, what I'll do is I'll order it. Right. I'll pay for it. And you're obviously you're going to send it me. Yeah. Right. But I just want you to tell him I want the one that's in the fucking picture. Right. Because it says what you see is what you get. Right. Right. I don't want like the other one. I fucking ordered that. And right. All right, Mildred. Uh, I'll ring him. I'll ring him later. You won't. That's it now. I'll catch. I'll catch you in a bit, Mildred. I'm busy working on an amplifier. I'll catch you in a bit. Alright, see you in a bit. You later, mate. Bye. Bye. Yeah, fucking doing my time. Uh, we'll ring my mate, but yeah, it'll be later. Well, he'll be having his tea anyway now. He wants to be disturbed when we're eating the tea. Right, so, but basically what we want to do now, uh, we want to look, uh, we're going to measure all these anyway, and we want to pay, we'll, we'll, let's move that so it's out of the way, there we go, right, pin 11 is around here, so I don't know whether we're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, well, pin 11 is one of these. Yeah, pin 11 is one of these. So what we'll do, we'll fl fl flip it, we'll whip it back on. Uh, get that out of the way. It doesn't hit anything. We'll put switch it back on. We'll have a look at the chat in a minute. Uh, switch it back on and we'll look. Nine volts there, nineteen there, twelve there, eleven there, seven, I can smell something, it doesn't smell very nice, hmm. I don't know what it is, there's nothing getting hot. Well actually there is. VR5 is getting hot. So what we need to do, and that won't move. Oh yeah, it did. There we go. We'll spray a bit of cleaner on that. We're not going to move the other one, we're just going to move this one for now. We'll deal with that one. There we go. So we'll set that in the middle like they want us to do. And what we'll do, we'll go back through it again. Eleven. Eleven. 
Now I'm not going to do it with it on. But now that's getting warm. VR5 is getting warm. So let's turn that on now see where we're up to. getting warm so why is it getting warm why is it getting warm that is getting warm and all We'll see what we've got. Mind you, the capacitors are out of tolerance as well, so that wouldn't help. Let's see what we've got on. Right, so let's set this back to where it was. Let's just get this bloody lead out of the way. Set this. back to where it was we can put it back to where it was because it was there there we go right so what I want to look at want to look at what we're getting twenty volts there Twenty volts there. That's still getting warm. No, it isn't. It isn't, it's staying cool. Twenty volts there now. So let's go down a little bit more, I think. So I don't want to do it with it on because I don't want to short anything. I'll leave that in there. No, I won't because it rolls out and drops on this lot. See what we've got here now. Ten volts there. Twenty point six, and that's about half. So let's see if that warms up. That hum's not as bad either. That's not getting warm now. And I can't smell it now. Just turn off. See if our transistors are getting warm. They are a bit, but that being said, They are a bit, but that being said, they were warm before, so we'll let it cool down now. 
and then we'll try it again and while I'm doing that I'll look at the chat he Yeah, I'm diddling fine, thanks. Uh, poor, poor Thulse, I think you called. Thank you very much, sir. Good, e good evening, Simon. Give him the old one, the old what? Really? Right. So what? We, so what we need to do? Is let this cool down. It's still pretty warm. It's not hot, but. Um, we are getting, um, we we are getting ten volts. But that being said, you know, let me put it on its original speaker because that won't help. It not being on its original speaker, it's put it on its original. Put the speaker on that came with it because that speaker that I'm using is only. It's only a 50, it's only a, what do you call it? Uh, that speaker I'm using is only uh, uh, 4 ohms, uh, the bench speaker. Because most of the stuff I do is only rated at that. But this is, uh, but this is a 15 ohm, it needs a 15 ohm load. So... That could even be that. So what we'll do now, we'll... Box. I caught it on the meter. There's no one there. Nice gentle hiss. Got a loose, what do you call it there? That could even be the speaker. So let's disconnect that. Turn that volume back down. Yeah, we're still warming up there a bit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring To about there. And that one's already been set halfway. So and I can't get my tool into that to adjust it unless I'm going through the back. Now that's that, that that's stuck. I don't want to run the risk of breaking them. Um, so what we'll do? Uh, make sure that we've got nothing that can touch anywhere. No, we're okay. Uh, get this bloody wire out of the way. There we go. Get them out of the way. It's not come on that yet, did it? Oh, it is on. That one's gone. So let's see what we're doing on voltage. 
Uh, turn the camera around so you can see what I'm doing. That's 10 volts there. Twenty volts there, so it is half on there. So it is half of a voltage on the collector of the other transistor because this is coming off it. So that's that's ten there, and if I lift that up a minute. So we're on, and I can smell that, so let's just turn that off a minute. A bit dirty down there, that control. And I'm going to set it about there. Nineteen there. That's twenty. Just crackle, aren't we? Got 21 volts there now. Let's see how many volts it should be. It says 27, but I'm looking at I'm not looking at exactly the right manual. But it says 27, so let me just quickly have a look. So hang on. So. Got twenty seven point five coming in. Um going into the collector of the first transit of uh, TR four which is right because we should have twenty seven really. But I'm looking at a slight it is a slightly different amplifier. And this one here should be thirteen point seven five. So if I turn that control all the way, if I turn that control all the way up, see I've had to go off because That's all the way up. So we're 9 volts there now. And we're 18 volts there. And I can smell it. Let's try that one. 
try it over that way a bit. That's no good, that's 1.7 volts. Six volts there, so we want it. We want it. About there. See if I could put put that there and put some under there. So I could make the bloody adjust so I could keep that level and make the adjustment. That's 12 volts there, 19 there, enough on the mark where we want to be let them cool down and we'll see how long it takes them to warm up because it shouldn't warm up really until there's load on them you know i.e. music playing really He's alright Mildred, don't get me wrong, he's a lack, he's alright, he's, and he is a good friend, but he can be a pain, like most good friends. In fact, you judge, you, you judge your friend just about, how much, on just about how much of a pain they actually are, I think. Right, so what we'll do, we're going to let that cool down, because it's, it's not red hot now, but we'll let it cool anyway. And it does have to have some capacitors replaced. This capacitor here needs replacing, and these electrolytics here do. But it's working well enough to do to actually work with those as they are. But like I'm saying, I'm using the wrong manual uh, because this should have R16 and R17 in it, and it doesn't according to the manual that I'm using. So it is a slightly different amplifier. <laughs> But, uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, just let give it a minute to cool down. Let's go back to all views, see how many cameras we lost. Because I wouldn't mind betting we lost a couple. Well, we lost one. And we lost three. Uh, two and three. Which is usual. Let's get them back in case we need them. And basically, it's working a damn sight better than what it was, because at least it's not, um, <coughs> I'm just waiting for these transistors to cool down. I don't want to blow the transistors up. There, they're cool now then. Yeah, that's cool now. So what we'll do, we'll turn it back on. That one's well gone. Oh, 
Yeah, they're staying cool now and they're not warming up. No, it's all right now. It's still a bit warm actually that. Right, so let's see if we can And there's another camera gone, we're probably gonna lose all the cameras. So let's go back to four. We'll see if we can see if we can break that potentiometer loose. Because we're gonna need to adjust that I think. Uh, it's already in the centre where it tells you to put it, but there we go. Spray some cleaner on it. At the end of the day, folks, I'd rather it didn't, but if it breaks, it breaks. I mean, there's not a lot I can do. I'll do my best. But all these resistors, they're all, they're, they're all what they should be. They're all what they should be. See, I can't get into that over the top of there because what they've done, they've put varnish on it. They've put varnish on it so that you can't freaking... There's the hole there. They've, what they've done, they've put... Uh, right, they put, and I don't think I don't think Bush put that varnish on. I think somebody else put that on. Right, so let's see what we get now. I don't think that varnish was put there by the manufacturer. Let me get these out of the way because that nearly touched the bloody output, the mains transformer. see what voltages we're getting I'll just lift that up a minute but I've got a feeling I've got a feeling that somebody's adjusted this and put that nail varnish remover nail varnish on it but I don't think that would have been put there by the manufacturer just doesn't look right It could have been, but I don't think so, because they put white paint on everywhere else, and this has got. I know they wouldn't make them, so you couldn't break them to adjust them. So what have we got here now? Fourteen volts there now. So we want to adjust that for thirteen. turn it off and do it because so we just want to be I'd say it'll probably be about it
Right, we're 22 there. We're 14 there. I'd still like that 14 to be a bit less. And what are we there now? Still 14. I'm going to leave it there for a minute and see if our transistors warm up. No, that's all, that's better. No, that's better because it says 13, but that being said. That being said, you have to remember them voltages were taken with an antiquated meter. You know, compared to what compared to the meters we get we've got nowadays. That doesn't sound hummy. Now let's see where we're at with our twenty volts. Twenty two volts. Fifteen volts there, fourteen there, which is pin eleven. That must be pin eleven. Thirteen volts there, twelve there, and I can't smell it now. I can't smell it now, folks. I'm going to leave it there for a minute because I can't smell it. No, I can't smell it now. Because that potentiometer there was getting warm and it's staying stone cold now. So, and that resistor next to it was getting a bit toasty and that looks cold. Well, it feels cold, I've just... It's cold. Right, let's... Let's not, let's dis disconnect the meter from it. Let's have a look at our trans... Have a feel of our transistors. Cold. Well, that one's actually a bit warm. That's a bit warm, that one. So what we'll do, we'll we'll connect back up and we'll balance. We'll try and balance the temperature like we did with the hacker. Right, so we want to look at See where we're at now? 12. So we'll just come back a little bit. Twelve point seven. Thirteen. That's what, that's what it's saying it should be at that point. So let's go around it now. So 21 there. 21 there. 14 there. 14 there. 11 there. 11 there. Nothing there. And nothing there. Right, well I think... I think that that is probably about right. Now let's see if we can... Right, I'm not happy with that. It's still warming up. So I'm not happy with that. 
still warming up on that transistor. So I think it has to come down. See this. Yeah. Leave that on there for a minute because we're going to make the adjustment. Hang on. There we are. That's 13. 21. Now let's see what happens when I turn this one up. That's where it was before. So let's see where we fought in there. things come out but I've got a feeling that that one's getting warmer That one's getting warmer. So I think that I'm going to put it there. I'm going to put that there and I'm going to leave that connected like that. I'm going to shove that back, back on, get my meter, I think we're pretty much there with it. Yeah, 13 there, 21, 21, 14, 14, 11, 16, uh, 11, and there should be nothing and nothing. There we go. Now, I think that one there is set okay. So, I think that one there is okay. But I, I can't really be accurate until I put new capacitors in. Because I know... Ooh, that's getting hot. getting hot. I might have to put new capacitors in it first. So what we'll do, we'll set that one back to the middle. So back to there. So it gets warm when you do that. 
it starts to smell it but now we've adjusted that one we might not is that what's happening with that driver that's not even getting warm that driver hmm yeah I can smell that now so that's that's not right because that's getting warm that's getting warm ouch yeah so that's not right so let's get the twenty twelve fourteen and still smell that twenty one I think we want to be about twenty two Twenty two there and wanna be twelve here. But thirteen there. Which is where we wanna be I think. <coughs> right, is that cool now? Yeah that's cooled off now, that's not getting any heat now. They're not. That's not getting any heat. Let's have a look at our Right, that's cooled down now, that. Not bad now, that. Don't know how much temperature these transistors can take. That's not too bad. Let's have a look at the chat. But it does need recapping. Where's all my chats gone? Not gone off, have I? No? No, it won't go pop. It won't. Uh, it won't. Um, no, it won't, it won't go pop. It's. Uh, I'm not leaving it on long enough to do that. It's not going to go pop, that's for sure. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to try that that way. I'm going to try it the other way. Let's see if that transistor warms. Let's see what warms up here now. Still getting our volume. Uh, it won't go pop, it's I'm sure of that. So we're on 12 there. 13 there. So we're actually where we need to be. 21 there. Yeah, we're where we need to be. I mean, we're, we're in the area. I 
That's it. That's got it. They're staying cool now. Uh, let's see how we sound with a bit of bit of a buzz on it. Let's just buzz it out. That's all right. Let's put the cartridge on if we can. Yep, that was working. Treble and bass. Yeah, that's okay now. That's not that's nowhere near as bad. And we'll get plenty out of it. I will actually need to measure uh, what the current is. So let's try and do that now, shall we? Um, I need to disconnect. What did it tell me to disconnect? Uh, I don't know where me, don't know where me chat's disappeared. It's disappeared. Hmm, weird. Yeah, where did me chat disappeared to? There's five people watching. Uh, I don't understand that. Where's all my chat gone? Unless they've removed it. Can't think why. Oh well, that's weird. Right, well let's get on to the, let's have a look at the manual and see what it tells me. See which pin it wants me to, see which, what it wants me to disconnect. From, and check the current. I don't understand that. Hmm. Yeah. Don't know where all my chat's just gone, it's just disappeared. Can people remove chat themselves? Don't think they can. Don't know where all my chat's just gone. It's just Get off. All disappeared. Well, Dickie Bourne. Good evening, Dickie. And uh, thank you for dropping in, sir. Um, 
I'm just looking here. That's don't know what happened to me chat. There was a load of chat there before, and it's all disappeared. Uh, the last one was Simon Wiggle saying it's going to go pop. It's not. Uh, it's certainly not. I'm going to look at. Hmm. I don't know, I don't understand. Never mind. Right, let's look at the manual. Uh, yeah, we, we, yeah, we are on the same project, Dicky. It's uh, you know the amplifier wasn't working the other night. It is now, but we're just looking at uh, um, you know we're just having a bit of a. I'm just wondering, right, so set volume control to minimum and RV4 and RV5 to mid position. Measure HT at pin 12 on printed panel. Uh, measure voltage at junction of R14 and R15. This should be exactly half. HT voltage and just RV4 if necessary. Right, well I've looked at that so I've looked at that. Right, let's have a look at the I'd be easier I've got to, I've got the manual up and two things so it'd be easier to click on the other one. So we want to measure the HT at pin twelve. I thought it was pin 11, it's not, it's pin 12. And pin 12, where are you coming out on? There's pin 7. Where's pin 12? There's pin 12. Pin 12, it should be 27.5 volts. But remember, I'm not looking at the exact amplifier in my, that I've got in front of me. This is not the exact circuit, it's very close though. Uh, but it's not the exact circuit so so that's pin 11 there pin 12 right We should have thirteen point seven five at the junction of thirteen uh sorry uh at the junction of R fourteen and R fifteen so that is where So the junction of that, so that must be, um, so pin 12, uh, pin 12, we're coming out of the rectifier, we're coming out of the rectifier, so pin 12 is there. So we should have 27.5 volts there, but we haven't. Now what I want to, we've, we've, we've only got 20 volts, or 22 at the most we can muster up. Um, but that being said, uh, the capacitor could be, the smoother could be causing it. Um, and we're still on actually, let's turn it off.
Right, so pin 12 should have right, pin 12 goes to it goes to capacitor 12 yeah it does it, pin 12 goes to the positive side of capacitor 12 so let's see where we're at with capacitor 12 see where that is And it's got to be here because it's. Oh, uh, 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 uh. There's capacitor 12. There's resistor 12. Where's capacitor 12? There's capacitor 10. 9, 8, 7. Is capacitor 12 the smoother? That's why I can't see it on the board. It's not on the board. So it must be. Unless. We've got. That one there. And the capacitor 12. Could actually be on the chassis. Let's have a look. It could be the. No it's not there. Oh, let's move along a bit. That's the 11. And it must have a capacitor 12 because it's telling you to. Capacitors. C12. Which is 25 microfarad. So it does have. It does have a C12 in it. Because it's 25 microfarad. Sorry, it's not. It's 2,500 microfarad. It's the bloody smoother. Ah, oh, yeah, fucker. It's the fucking smoother. Yeah, there it is. Uh, C12. There it is, yeah. C12 goes to pin 12. So what I'm going to do, let's come back to you lot. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to disconnect I'm going to disconnect the HT and I'm going to see what we get with the HT disconnected see what we get straight get off there you see what we get straight on the because that's capacitor 11 and that's 10 I think so I'll see what we get here Wow, they're touched together. Uh, good job it's off, isn't it? There we go. Well, at least we know we're getting some voltage. <laughs> we know that's, yeah, very good. Right. See, the problem is it's because it's all bloody, curl, bloody curly wire. It all tends to gravitate to each other. Right. Whoops. I don't think we'll have caused any damage there because it was disconnected. So let's see what we get. There we are. We should get about 27 volts according to the manual. So we're getting 
26. Twenty six volts we're getting, twenty six point three. That uh, let's connect that back on. You have to allow for the fact that. The uh, you have to allow for the fact that they were using antiquated AVO meters back in the day, which were modern for them but old for us. We're now using digital meters, so yeah, there can be the voltage discrepancies. So what we're going to do, we're going to look, and we're going to look at capacitor twelve. Uh, pin 12 which is here we're getting 21 volts on the HT and at the junction we're getting 14 volts there for 12 volts there 11 volts there so the junction are R14 and R15 let's first of all have a look at them hi Mike thanks I'll come and sit on oh, oh, let me just have a look at the chat uh, give me a break to put this down won't it we had a bit of a spark there as well Absolutely. It wouldn't be vintage electronics repair without a bit of a flash, would it? Very rarely get them on this channel, but now and again it had to happen, didn't it? I haven't changed the capa I haven't changed the capacitors uh I haven't changed what what I'm thinking of doing, Mike. I'm I've not changed the capacitors yet because I've got to order some in. Uh, so what I might do actually, I might leave it where we are now because the amp is working. Uh, the amp is working, but I want to get these electrolytics out and get some new ones in. Um, because we are probably being loaded down by bad caps. So I do want to actually, I've tested them, but they're all out of tolerance. I mean all the bloody resistors, we had to change every single resistor in it. Um, but uh, but as for what Simon says it's going to go pop it's not it won't go pop I left it on there um, for a good few minutes while I was reading the manual and you know we're cold again now so you know I'm going to uh, uh, these disc capacitors, these, these don't usually fail, they'll be alright. So we need to change this, this and this and this one here. That one there especially, it looks like it's about to fall to bits. That little electrolytic, we need to uh, see if we've got them in. And if we've got them in, I know I haven't got all the capacitors in to do the job. And if I don't have all the capacitors, I don't really like doing the job. I like to do it all in one go, if you know what I mean. But you know, and yeah, you know. But what we'll do, we'll. Uh, I'll show you what I've actually done, because uh, it's actually it does look better. These resistors are far better than what was in there. There we go. I've had to change all the resistors, and we've put all new ones in. Uh, it's got all new resistors. It needs the capacitors replacing, and that's probably what the issue is. Uh, the driver's not getting hot. We're just not getting. We're just not getting. Uh, we're just being held back on the HT. Um, um, I think there should be. I think we should be getting at least twenty-five volts minimum with a load on it, and. We're not, so I think there might be another part to this. I didn't expect to get this finished tonight, I'll be perfectly honest. 
I didn't expect to get it finished uh, because I've not got the capacitors in that I need uh, not all of them anyway and I'd like to do them all in one hit I mean this one here he's not a problem because he can be done without taking the board out let's go back to let's, You know, he can be done without taking the board out. But all the rest of them, the board has to come out. And I don't think I've got the capacitors that I need. That one's 50 UF. I've got them, they're 47s. I've got them. And uh, let's just turn the plug off. We don't want to switch it on by accident. At 25 volts. So let's see what we've got in the way. I've got, have you ever had an itchy roof of your mouth? It's horrible. Right, so we've got the 47s and we've got them at 25 volts. Um, we've even got them at 50 volts. But we're not going to overdo it. Not gonna, we're not going to overgild the lily. Uh, there's no point. 47. At 25. We've got, so we've got him. So we, we've got him. Let's get the other box out as well. I need to need to get another set of these. Or another kit of these ordered. Um, <coughs> because there's certain values I've run out of. And that one there is 50 UF, and that's 25 volts as well. So, yeah, we've got those ones. Yeah, 50 UF, well, a 47. Where's that other one I just got out before? I just got one out, pretty, there it is. So we've got that one, so we've got that, and we've got that, now have we got that little blue one? Do we have that little blue one? Uh, I might have to snip him out to find out because I can't see. Let's move these boxes, because they're right in your way. Right, I can't see. Twenty-five volts, but I don't know what the value is. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna snip that. The reason why is because we're gonna be coming out anyway. Uh, so we'll snip, we'll clip him out. Because he's gonna be coming out. Oh, now the drawer stuck. There we go. Oh, don't pull the meter. Let's move the meter a minute turn that off for a minute because I'm not a rich man you know I need to order some batteries as well uh, just so I've got a few in uh, where's the the other clippers I can't find the other clippers and I'm, I'm being lazy I'm being lazy there they are I'm being lazy I should go underneath I take the board out and sold Desolder it, but I can't be bothered. I'm being lazy. I didn't come on live last night because my friend Carl came, and uh, you know uh, we had a uh, we had a bit of a chin wag and whatnot, and uh, watched a couple of old uh, TV episodes of Bullseye. You know, so we didn't really do much. I didn't really come on yesterday. Now, what's this one? Eight point four. Eight point four microfarad. at twenty-five 
25 volts. I can put a 10 in there. Right, 10 you are. You off? I can put a 10, I can put a 10 in there. 10 will work okay in there. That'll be absolutely fine. So I have got the capacitors nearly. Now what about this one here? This is the speaker coupling capacitor. 18 volts. And 400 UF. Uh, I haven't got a 400 UF in there. I might, I might have a 470. I could put a 470 in there. If I've got a 470, I could put a 470 in. That'll work. But these are only 16 volts. Uh, but that being said, we know we've only got 12 volts going on to that, so that's okay. That's 10 volts. Of course, it would be, wouldn't it? Uh, let's see what this one is. 10 volts. Sixteen volts. So we can actually put a sixteen volt one in there because we know we're not getting eighteen volts up there. We're getting we're only we're on here we're only getting um we're only we're only getting like twelve volts, thirteen volts at the most. So we can do that. So let's have a look at the chat. So we can do that, but I haven't got the smoother. Before we do, let me just have a look in here. Because there's a big fat one. Well, it's not a big fat one, but there's one in here. I haven't got the smoother. And that won't do it, because that is 1000 UF of 35 volts. And I know I haven't got, I know I haven't got any anywhere else. Uh, that I'm sure of. Um, so what we're going to do... Uh, what I think we'll do then, we'll look at the chat, and it's 8 o'clock, and I'm going at half 8 because I've got other things I want to look at, I want to speak to someone. Right, well, there's, yeah, cheers Mike. Stick in a 10, yeah, I will do. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't get it going the other night, uh, Dickie. I got it going to today. Um, yeah, all's good, thanks, uh, Mark. Spot on, mate, absolutely spot on. Uh, glad you're good. Hope you are anyway. Uh, Simon, yeah. No mic, but he's made a useful hand warmer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, do you know something, about Simon? I'd just like to kick you up the backside of once. <laughs> yeah, I'm only kidding. Uh, I'm okay, Mark. Yeah, everything's great here, yeah, mate. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's actually, uh, it is getting a bit, a bit toasty, this, but it's not too bad. It's not as bad as it was. It's working and it was on for quite some time. Yeah, them plessy caps, they are the crap, aren't they? Uh, um, well, uh, on the subject. On the, on the subject of your tooth, right, there is actually a loophole, right, and I know this is a fact because I've done it myself. If you've got a bad tooth, if you're in pain, 
whether you're registered with a dentist or not, because I did this. If you're registered, if you're not registered with a dentist and you're in pain, he has got to see you. He doesn't have a choice, because they are, because according to the hypocritical oath, the hypocritical, the hypocritical oath that they all have to take, they are not allowed to leave anybody in pain. And I think that's law as well, because I went to the dentist four years ago and I was in absolute pain and uh, and I mean pain I can tolerate pain but this was just another another dimension of pain <laughs> and I went to see I went to see the jaw puller and she says are you registered with us sir I says no so she says okay I said but I am in absolute real pain Right, she said, well, I'll see if the dental surgeon will see you. You know, she said, you might have to sit here for a bit while other people that are registered go through. I said, I don't mind that. That's fine. Anyway, and I went in. Eventually, after about 20 minutes, he called me in. I went in and uh, he uh, he asked me where the pain was. I told him he had, he had a look in me yap. Uh and uh, he fixed the problem temporary he put i think he put a temporary cap or crown or something on he said that is only temporary he said i'm gonna make you an appointment and he picked up the phone there and then he said i'm gonna make you an appointment for the dental hospital he says and uh i'm gonna i'm gonna try and make it for tomorrow you must go anyway I went to the, anyway, he made me the appointment, but they do have to treat you. If you're in pain, they have to treat you. They can't refuse. And uh, he made me an appointment for the, dent, for, for, for the dental hospital in Manchester. And I went in and it was dead funny. Uh, I went down the next day. Uh, my sister's husband was with us. Well, she's not married to him anymore, but she was then. Anyway, Martin was with us. With us. And I went in, and there was this dentist in there, and he was about 500, I got called, he was about 500 years old. Uh, he was really, really, really old man. And uh, he had this little Chinese bloke with him. And uh, I can't remember the Chinese guy's name. For the, for the purpose, we'll call him Mr. Wong. And that's no degradation towards Chinese people. I just can't remember his name. Anyway, so... Uh, he introduced me, he said, this is Mr. Wong. He says, he's a trainee. He says, he's going to be taking your tooth out today. I looked at him, I went, you can get to... He went, hello? I went, you can get to fuck. I said, listen, mate, I says, I'm not having a trainee pulling a tooth out of my head. I said, that's not going to happen. I says, I appreciate he has to learn, I understand that. I said, but what I don't mind, I says, you pull the tooth, but he can be in the room and he can observe. I said, but he ain't coming anywhere near my mouth, I'm telling you that now, mate. Uh, I said, I don't pay my national insurance to have my mouth ripped apart by a trainees. I said, but I do understand they have to learn, and I, and I appreciate that. I said, but they can learn on someone else, not on me. Anyway, so, anyway, he agreed to that. And I wasn't offensive or anything, and he agreed to it. And uh, we went in the room, and the little Chinese fella came in with us, and he stood there, and he's having a good look. And uh, he put some juice in me gums to numbing them, a Novocaine or whatever they call it, he put that crap in me gums to numbing them. He says, are you numb? I says, yeah. Ah, uh, uh, you know, you can't speak, you know, you open your mouth, you feel like you're a horse chewing a cannibal toffee. You try to speak, you feel like you're chewing a cannibal toffee. Anyway, or you look like a horse chewing a cannibal toffee. Anyway, so. Anyway, and, and, and th 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 this young lad's looking over, watching him, and I didn't mind that. And he, anyway, he pulled it out and uh, sorted everything out, left my mouth in a good state of repair. And, uh, you know, uh, basically uh, I thanked him and went on my merry way.
But yeah, no, I weren't having a, I weren't having a trainee pulling a tooth out of my head. That wasn't happening. But I do understand they have to learn. And, uh, you know, we uh, got it done. But a dentist does have to see you. That's my little story of dentists. But a dentist does have to see you if you're in pain. Christ. I'll tell you what, Mike, they know how to charge, don't they? <laughs> you know. They just, yeah, they know how to charge. Yeah, I, I, You know, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, the dentist can't refuse to see you, and that's a fact. Uh, you know, they can't, they can't refuse. I remember once some guy says to me, he says, excuse me, mate. He says, how do I get to the dentist? I says, call me an asshole." <laughs> yeah, 30, 30, I'll tell you what. Do you know something? Do you know something? It's all wrong, in it? I mean, you know, we get, do you know something? 14 quid for a filling, you know, over 14 quid for a filling, you know, it is. I'll tell you what, you know, they, they shaft us every chance they get, don't they? They really do. I mean,. I mean, I remember when the de I remember when the dentist saw went bloody private. I mean, you were lucky if you could find one that did national health at one time. I think you still are. I just wait me when one starts aching. I just go to the nearest dentist. I just go to the nearest dentist and I just say, listen, give that a look at. I'm in pain. You know. But uh, yeah. Yeah, it's an interesting conversation, isn't it? Considering we're all, we're on, we're an electronics channel, we're here talking about teeth. Man, I suppose I suppose it's something to get your teeth into, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Now I know a mate who did that. He thought that he thought the dentist actually used solder when they put a filling in your gob. They don't. They use magnesium. Uh, I believe, I believe it's a magnesium sort of substance to use. Anyway, uh, he heated up his soldering iron, and you can probably guess what he did, but I'll tell you anyway, and he dropped a blob of solder into his tooth, into the hole. I said, I bet it hurt. He says, oh, he says, I was dancing around the kitchen, he said. He says, it bloody hurt like sin, he said, it didn't half hurt. I said what he would do. Because dentists don't, because they don't put solder in them. It's magnesium, in it, I believe. I believe it is. Is it magnesium? I'm sure it's magnesium. Uh, c somebody, please correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, no, I don't mind being corrected. Is it a mixture of zinc and magnesium, or is it just magnesium? I don't know. But I, just, I know it's something like that they put in. But. Uh, yeah, yeah, the dentist, yeah, it's something to get your teeth into, innit? Yeah, take a trip to the old jaw puller. Yeah, get a, get a tooth yanked, it does you the world of good. I had one fall out on me head a few, a couple of years ago. I was just, uh, I was, what happened was, I was eating, a, I was eating, I was eating a bag of boiled sweets. And I'm impatient, me. I'm I'm very impatient. What's that mark on my arm? That look where I've been resting my arm on the workbench. Anyway, I've got a cross on my arm, you know. Uh, anyway, that's where I've been resting my arm on that wire and stuff. 
But uh, yeah, I uh, I was eating. The, I was sat in. The, I was sat in the front room. I was eating a bag of boiled sweets, and I crunched down on one because I was a bit impatient. And I crunch on this boiled sweet, and I just felt the tooth. I just knew it had broke off the gum. Uh, I just knew it broke off the jawbone rather. And uh, I, I run my tongue across it, and I felt it loose. And I left it. It started to ache. After a day or so, it started to ache. And I can put up with toothache. It don't bother me toothache. So when you get something really bad and it really hurts. Anyway, I let it ache. Um, and after about a week, it stopped aching. I thought nothing of it. Never ate again after that. I went to Aldi with my mate Paul. This is a few months later. I went to Aldi with my mate Paul. I bought some shopping. I came home and I felt a bit tired. So I went to bed for an hour. I woke up. And uh, this tooth, it was about ready for falling out. I mean, it really was. You could get your tongue under it and wiggle it. And, you know, you could, lick, you, you, you could lick the bottom of the tooth with your tongue. And... <laughs> Anyway, on this particular day, I was just lying in bed and I, I woke up and I just put my tongue, I yawned and I put my tongue under the tooth and I, and I just flicked it out with my tongue, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you know, eventually they fall out. If you break them off the gum, eventually they fall off the jawbone, sorry. If you get them, off the, you get them loose on the jawbone, they fall out. They ache for a bit, but then they fall out. Um, I've had a couple of tooth teeth that have done that. I've just broke off the jawbone and fell out, but yeah, but but you know if the you know if the if you're in pain, they've got to see you because they take the hypocritical oath. They can't refuse. They're not allowed to leave anyone in pain. You know, I can I can believe it. I mean, I can believe it, Mark. I mean, I'm just reading here that you worked at the Walton Centre. You'd be surprised at the amount of patients on wards that had abscesses that had gone to the brain. So tooth care is... I agree. Uh, so tooth care is a necessity and should come under your stamp act. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You know, you're absolutely you're absolutely right, Mark. It should. It's healthcare. You know, but they cannot leave you in pain. It's like if you go to a doctor, and you're not registered with that doctor. If you go into a, any doctor's surgery, and you tell him you've got pains in your chest, he will take you in immediately, because he's got to. Um, you know, and he'll give you a check up, because he's got to. Because, you know, I think it's by law, I'll have to check up. But it certainly comes under the hypocritical oath that they cannot leave a patient in pain. So, uh, well, che cheers for that, Mike. It's good to have you in. Uh, say hello to Mrs. Demon for me. I hope she's good. Um, and... Uh, I certainly will endeavour to keep up the good work and uh, you know we'll uh, have this amplifier working perfectly again soon. So I've got really all the capacitors, I can actually change them. I've got them so I'm going to change them um, and I may as well do it now. Because uh, you'll all win, Jack. I mean, well, you could have done that now, you know, and instead of keeping us waiting, we'll wait no longer, folks. We're going to do it. There we go. Right, so what we need to do is take off these screws. I mean, all these capacitors have been, they're just about past it, aren't they, folks? You know, a bit like myself. So what we'll do, we'll take these out. And...
I mean, the, the, ampl the, the amplifier uh, probably. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with this one. Uh, this is a 50 UF. Well, it's 47, but we're putting a 50 in. Uh, 50 UF. Oh, you bugger. I've got to take the bloody inputs off again. Ah. Anyway. We'll get them inputs off. There we go. Oh, and that one's decided to glue itself back on. So what we'll do, we'll... Uh, we're not going to use the electric soldering I a salty solder sucker because it makes a bit of a racket. And that was that there looks like it's got a dry joint. But that wasn't causing any issues. I'm just trying to get into a position. I want to clean the board as well because it's a bit There we go. Yeah, I'm another year older Friday. Yeah, another year older, eh? Another year older. So positive is towards the end of the board. We'll test all them after. They're probably f, f u c k e d. Yeah, they're probably cream crackered. Get as near as the middle as possible. Here we go. But, uh, There we go. That is our first one in. I mean, it probably not make much difference. It should though. New capacitors, that's what they say all over the internet, put new capacitors in. Uh, it should make a world of difference. Well, let's see. I know this one here, the bottom's beginning to bulge out of it, so. And that's the little 10 microfarad one. Uh, get it here. Oh well. I don't have to suck that off. Pardon the expression.
but I will suck it just to be clean just so it's clean there we go get it sucked off get it sucked there we go the solder get the solder sucker on there and get it sucked off well, that piece of solder piece of wire is still in there I thought it had gone up the sucker Oops. <laughs> I'm going to wiggle them through so that they look. Gonna, me and Steve are going to start on Phil's radio on Sunday on the, the Costa Brandy, the KB, and see if we can get that going for Phil. We've got an output transformer that we think might do the job. That's that. all these because we want to test them if we don't lose them don't we right this one next one let's get this out of the way do I have to take the wire off or can I do it without taking the wire off It was in pretty it was in pretty it was in a pretty poor state of repair this amp it has to be said it's been damp as well the board will be thoroughly cleaned with a toothbrush before it goes into service that's for sure Yeah, we're getting yeah, this that's why we've got some stuck up the nozzle. I've got something stuck up the nozzle, that's what it is. That's it. There we go. So there we go, pull this one out. It'll do all look a bit crap. I have to get the soldering iron on that. Didn't quite get the solder off there. There we go. There. At least the hole's clean. Fat. 
bring that down to might not bloody reach. It should, the other one did. And then the other one reached. Imagine I don't think the, I mean the holes on the other one were the same distance. There we go, we're in anyway. Let's turn that round, we're in. Clean. That's it. Yep, we're good. Oops, don't want to clip the wires. Get them off there. Get them off there. Now we can put the just double check everything. Yep, that's all it is really. And mustard ones don't fail. So we're not going to change him for now, but there again, he's not in that stage anyway. Um right. Are you sure no wires off anywhere? No, we're okay, we're good. I believe. Someone coming up my path. Her fella next door above. talking to her grandmother earlier and she was saying she worked well. Obviously she's not obviously she's well enough to get a nick of that. There we go. That landed right on the hole, yeah it has. bring that back out and go back in because we're that's it right and this one wheel clip there Should make a difference but whether it makes a difference is another matter but the only one I haven't changed is the main reservoir smoother if you like and the reason why I've not changed that is I've not got one Solder on. On there. Put up the put and now connect this. Bring this round to there. This is actually a little bit higher than what I was putting in. I was going to put a 470, but this is actually a 680. It'll do the job. Right. Right. Let's just solder up the input. And then once we've soldered the input we can switch the amp quickly back on 
and let it run for a minute. Come here you, there we go. him what's there right they're every they're they're, they're they're all correct call it the input lead oh I'm going to turn it off yeah it's not as buzzy no we're that doesn't feel too bad Let's leave it on for a minute. Let's just do some voltage measurements. I know you all like your voltage measurements. Let's check the time. I'll be going in a minute. Uh, Anyone? So there's no difference. Twelve. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Thirteen. Thirteen. I might have tapped that one twice. Eleven. Nothing. And yeah, nothing on the last one either. So basically, it is basically nothing. It's not as bad actually. Yeah. Right, so what we'll do. Just drop this. That should be about there. Let's have a look at the voltage again. It's not as bad as it was. I mean, we're not getting it red hot now. Mind you, that being said, I haven't been on long enough, has it? So we wire sticking in me thing. So we're 13 there, which is good. 21. 21. 14. Yeah, we're a bit high there. Because we want to be a bit lower on that, really, I think. But. I can put my fingers on there now. And that is not even hurting. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to leave that as is. We're not. Uh, I can't smell that. But I can't smell that potentiometer getting hot anymore. It's staying cold. That. Yeah. That's staying cold. So Yeah, 12 there. And that's the other pin there. Which that should have nothing on it. That one is in part of the input. The green there. 12. And the next one. 14 14 20 21 rather and that's 21 HT going in and I think that I think that we can come a bit higher up on this. So that's how where we're at now. If that was out of the way. Twelve. Twenty-two. So that's right. Pretty much. There's twenty-two there. Twenty-two going in. Fourteen. Fourteen. 12 so twenty two point six that's as much can we get because it should be a bit higher than that I get twenty three, I'll be happy. Twenty two point four, and no, we're coming down. Oh, there we are. 24. 24.4. There we go. Right, so we want to look at now. That's 24. I can't go there because it's negative. It's, it's, that's obviously the NPN one, I think. Twenty four, fifteen, that needs it. I think they might need to be replaced that part. Fourteen, thirteen. 
13. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I think that potentiometer needs to be replaced. So we'll have to, so. That's cool. And that's cool. Yeah, we've got it, folks. We've got it. I can put my hand on them. They're staying lovely and cool. That's got it. So what we need to do is replace that potentiometer. Put a new one. We'll new. We'll put a new one in, and I might have one somewhere. If not, we'll get. We'll find out the value. Get it ordered. So we'll just check the buzz. We've got any volume on it. Ooh. So basically we've got a loose connection there. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a loose connection on that input. Yeah. That's no worries, we'll redo that. Right, so thank you for watching I'm going to turn everything off uh, thank you for watching uh, it's a pleasure that you do come on and you do join me I really like to have your company I'll just look at the chat before I go uh, somebody found something very funny so let's have a look uh, what was it <clears throat> Uh, gee, I can't pronounce your name, uh, buddy. Yeah, this Friday, mate. I'm another year. I'm another year older. Uh, hopefully, another year wiser. Uh, oh, your flatmate's crying. Ask what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> really? Oh well, that's all right. <laughs> Uh, well, ju just tell your flatmate that you're. Uh, uh, just ju 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 just tell your flatmate that you're just watching a fat man try and repair an amplifier. <laughs> Listen, folks, you all take it easy, and uh, uh, join me. I don't think there'll be another part on this. I've got to just put new input leads on it. Uh, this is going to be going into, that's lovely and cool now. Yeah, that's cooled down now. I know it's off, but it was cooling down while it was on. And they're not supposed to get red hot, and they're not supposed to get red hot. But they're only supposed to warm up when they're under load, really. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, folks, because uh, we're, we're, we're just about done. And it's been great. It, it, it's been great having you. Uh, having your company it always is uh, I love coming on and doing this and you all take it easy and uh, I'm gonna get myself sorted good night for now folks and join me for the next one I uh, don't know what it will be but we'll be doing something with this um, so you know we'll be doing something with it whether I have a new motorboard made and uh, do the record player up it come out of is another matter um, or whether I put it into another record player and do it that way we'll have to see and you'll have to see I'll catch you later folks bye for now